Hello Aries, welcome to Reading Journey. I am Journey. I'm doing a reading for the sun, moon, rising sign of Aries. Aries Friday here is where you will find your readings every Friday. And if you want more readings, you can go into the description box and there's a link there that will take you to my Patreon page. The link you can't click on just yet, working on that, but you can open up a new tab and type it in if you are interested. Let's get into it. So this was a bonus card. That's why it is already turned over. I also feel like, Aries, you're going to be traveling somewhere. You're going to be going on a vacation. So I'm here and get ready. Get ready soon. Um, you're going to be traveling. Perhaps some of you are already have a vacation plan. Somebody's going to the islands. I also hear the islands. So definitely travel is coming through very clearly. So you could be traveling or needing to go travel or take a vacation, all right? Or you're going on a vacation. Interesting. So Leo just got the same card and this card came out. I mean, whoever wanted to give you a message, somebody wants to give you a clear message because this card flew out at me. So I knew it needed to come out as well. Actually, all of these cards Blew out. So let's get a look here. Ooh, more travel. All right, Aries. So let's let's get into it. I feel I see more than one story here. So I'm gonna go to the story that I feel already before I even take a good look at these cards. One thing, based on just the images themselves, it looks like something has played out. Okay, something has has played it's already been recorded it's a part of your destiny and it's a part of something where you're going to be traveling moving forward somebody's moving to another location another country um i feel with the challenge card things have come to a stop so as far as you having a lot of challenges I see that coming to a halt and you're going to be able to enjoy your journey. So it looks whatever you've been through, because your childhood may have been rough because you were raised with past programming of things that um, other people's beliefs, right? School, family, parents, whatever. Um, and because you still took the courage to be who you need to be, regardless of what other people thought, or regardless of what other people say, um, you still chose to go for it. You still decided to go for what you wanted to do, for or go for what you know, right? And you came across some challenges. You may have lost a lot of people along the journey. You may have had to separate from a lot of people because they did not think like you or you didn't think like them, right? You weren't, the, I'm hearing, didn't follow the status quo. And because of that, you're going to get rewarded from the universe. You will get to see your dreams. You will get to, if travel is what you want to do, traveling is what you will be doing in the near future, okay? Now, next group, let's see. So there's something about a decision that needs to be made or three people could be making a decision about you. Um, I'm also, it could be a jury. I heard judge, okay? Um, and there could be, this judge has to make a decision. Three people are involved. And this judge is going to do what's the best thing that is, is for everyone, okay? This judge is a older haired, a older man, could be an older white man, right? Or it's just somebody who's wise, also wise beyond their years. Whoever's doing this deliberation is a good thing because this person was definitely appointed by the divine, okay? Um, although they might not show it. You may never meet this person anyway, but this person is what I'm getting is they are very wise. They're not stupid. They even got a sense of spirituality or they may be religious or have, instead of saying religious, they have some type of morals to themselves, right? They have some sense of... Um, they recognize or in their minds, there is something higher than themselves. Now that's a good judge, that's rare. So I'm not surprised if you're in a case, then I wouldn't be surprised that your case would be handled by this person because they've been, I'm hearing appointed, okay. 
This judge could also be a fire sign, could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Emperor. I'm getting more Emperor energy here with this person. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, this judge has to make a decision. Or if this is not a judge, this is someone who has to make a decision that's going to affect several people. Some of you, this decision was already made, okay? And what I mean by that is I'm feeling an energy of someone made a decision about you some years ago, okay? And it's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. But it kind of, it ties into the present. So all I can tell you, because it's, it's tying in in a weird way. I, I don't know how to put it all in words. So I'm going to do my best. But basically, this person is making a decision and I'm hearing deliberation. So definitely somebody has some type of court case going on or some type of, it could be a case in, in your job where they maybe, you know, how they do those grievance things or whatever. Somebody's making a deliberation, a uh, a uh, judgment. I feel like, and I'm hearing it is on your side, okay? It is on your side, depending on what you've done. If you've done all the right things, if you, you know, you've done, you know whether you've done right or wrong, right? You already know, so I don't have to explain that to you. If that's what you did, then that's what the judgment will be. Karma will go in your favor. You will get your your just due reward. If you did wrong, you still won't get your just due reward. So whatever you put out, that's what you will get back is basically what I'm trying to say. Now, several stories. So work with me. Whatever part is yours, take it. If it's for you, it will click. So never try to make a reading fit. Let me take a look here. I'm also feeling that they're asking you person that is uh the one I, uh, i'm talking about who the judge has to make a decision or this person this judgment it could be also a family member making a, a judgment whether they want to put you in their will or not you know it's, it's something like that and maybe it many of you may not may not even know this is happening okay somebody is determining whether they want to again put you in their will or if they want to give you something some of you something has already been given and it's now being deliberate deliberated you don't even know okay um how soon i'm here how soon you ask so somebody's asking like how soon they're not giving me that okay they're not giving that um, and I don't like to give out months. I don't. I think it confuses people and I don't, I don't want to do that because our focus should be enjoying the journey, not because otherwise you, you get caught up in your head and that ne negative energy just loves that. Things will happen when they need to happen, okay, in divine timing. Now, um, what was I saying about this one? Uh, hold on a moment. Let me get it back. Okay, so... In the meantime, what you should be doing is making decisions that support your goals, being clear about what you want in life, where you want to go. Perhaps you've already been doing this, your journaling, your vision boards or whatever. Keep doing that. Be very clear. If not, make decisions that support your goal. If you know you want good in your life, then do good, right? I don't have to tell you that. If you know you want a certain, whatever it is, goal in your life, start working towards it, right? Start start going for it, right? Um, step out your comfort zone. What I feel with that is they're saying like, because you have a favorable outcome. If you think it's too far to think, you know what? Oh my gosh, I need a new home or I need a new car. There's so much I need. But you're like, I just died and you know, I can't get it. I don't know how. Trust the divine. Ask the divine to help you with this. Don't put a time frame on it. Ask the divine to help you set your goals, you know, and be realistic with yourself. Not even be realistic with yourself because your realist your your realism may be very low expectation. Now I'm not saying, oh yeah, universe, give me ten million dollars. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. But um if you know there's a need for something and you like you you know this is something that maybe you need your time, right? Maybe you want your time back for a business or you just want your time to whatever you need your time for because it's none of my business. Um, you can ask for that. You know, set, set realistic goals, plan it out, write it out, let the universe know, journal it out. 
and pray about that and have faith that it's going to come through for you. Okay, and let me see what this is. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel what this is. Challenge yourself. Again, challenge yourself. If you're like, okay, you know, I need a home and wow, I guess, uh, I guess I'll get a home that, you know, at least I'll have a roof over my head and I just, I'll, I'll just take like maybe a two bedroom home or, but you really know you need a three, right? Cause you got like, I don't know, you got five kids and you're like, I need a four bedroom. Then if you know that, then ask for that. Challenge yourself, challenge the universe, not yourself, but challenge the universe on this. They're asking you to challenge them and trust in that and believe. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep being that good hearted person. Keep putting out that good energy and you will be rewarded for it. Okay. So I'm going to end it there. I hope you found this helpful. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to subscribe for more videos, click that subscribe button. If you want to know more about me, check out the description box below. Um, you can't click on the link right now. You have to open up a tab and type in the link tree address there, but it's pretty easy to do. Other than that, my darling, I will see you next Friday. Bye-bye.